Hey guys, we're going to do some speed calculations when it comes to using a jack shaft, okay? Okay guys, this is what we're going to do. Um, to keep things simple, we're going to be using just the standard setup jack shaft that you would get off of eBay. What they are is Azusa makes them, and what they come with, come on, oh well, what they come with is they come with the, the, the jack shaft part, they come with the bearings, and they come with a 14 tooth sprocket and a 10 tooth sprocket. What we're going to be doing here is I'm going to show you guys how to do the calculation on speed. How fast you should go with a jack shaft setup on your go-kart. What I'm going to do here is the type of tires that I want to be using on my go-kart are going to, be going to be 15 inch tires. Okay, So, I've got 15 inch tires. To do this calculation right, make sure everything comes out decently correct, uh, the information that I'm using here, you'll also be able to find down below this video in the description. There'll be links to the web pages or the websites where I got this information at. And you'll be able to use it for your own calculations to figure out how fast your go-kart should be going when you're using a jack shaft. I've stated in a previous video that a jack shaft what it does is it transfers the RPMs of your engine into torque. So how you would have this set up is you would have your bearings holding the shaft. You'd have from your engine, you'd have a small sprocket go into a larger sprocket. And then on the other end, you would have your smaller sprocket going down to your sprocket on your axle is I'm going to first figure out my ratio. I've got myself a uh, max torque clutch. It's 10 tooth. So, the 10 tooth clutch 10 tooth clutch is going to lead off to the 14 tooth that's going to be put on to the jack shaft. So, this is my going to be my jack shaft. I've got the 14 tooth right here. I've got my engine, and that's a 10. It's going to lead off to this sprocket. On the other end of the sprocket here, I'm going to put the 10 tooth. Okay? So I'm going to take this 10 tooth sprocket and lead that off to the sprocket that's going to be on my axle. For argument's sake, this is going to be a 54 tooth sprocket. To calculate this all out, you pretty much, all you really do is you take the larger number and you divide it by the smaller number. So we got 14 divided by 10, that's going to come out to be 1.4. So, for every 1.4 rotations this will rotate, this will rotate one time. This is going to rotate one and a quarter, well, actually 1.4 times, and this will rotate once. Then you take this here, and this is a 10 tooth, when you order for a jack shaft off of eBay, and it shows up, and it comes in like this, packaged like this, this one's, you know, taken apart, but you'll get bearings, you'll get the mount that you'll weld onto your frame, you get two sets, or uh, keys, you get two chunks of key stock, and those will go into the jack shaft in your sprockets, and then you've got a locking collar. 
I don't understand why they don't give you two locking collars, but I don't know. And then you'll just place all this stuff together. So, that's going to be a 1.4 ratio. Now we have 10 tooth over here and a 54 tooth over here. And that ratio, 54 divided by 10, is going to be a 5.4 ratio. Okay? So to come out with what is your total ratio here, your total ratio is you take this number, the 5.4, and the 1.4, and you times those together. 1.4 times 5.4 equals 7.56. 7 7.56. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that make this just a 6. We're just going to round it up. So we've got 15 inch tires and I have a ratio go away. I've got a ratio here of 7.6. So I'm going to take this and put this uh, 7.6 up here. That's what our total ratio is right there when we're using a jack shaft. We know that that's the, that's the ratio right there, 7.6. we got 15 inch tires. Now, how fast am I going to be able to go on my go-kart with those two numbers, knowing what those two numbers are? So this is what we're going to do now. This is how you do this. You take pi, which is 3.14 okay you multiply that by the diameter of the tire okay which is 15 times 15 so we've got uh, 3.14 times 15 that's going to equal 47.1 now what that is, <coughs> is that is the circumference of your tire, okay, in inches, 47.1 inches. That is, take a tape measure, stick it on one side, and we measure it, okay, all the way around. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the circumference of the tire, and we divide that by 12. 47.1 divided by 12. 3.925. But we're going to round that up. We're going to make it 3.93. So we take 47. Point one. We'll divide that by 12, because 12 is inches, and then we come out with 3.96. What that is, is your circumference in feet. This is inches, and then you divide inches by 12 and that comes out to be feet. Alright? So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to figuring the gear ratios or the sprocket ratios. So we're going to take the RPMs of the engine. I don't got enough light in here to keep my dang calculator going. We're going to take the RPMs of the engine. Most of these in industrial engines that you use on your go-kart are 3,600 RPMs. That's their max. Thirty-six hundred RPMs. Okay. Okay, so that's 36 RPMs. Now we're going to take that and we're going to divide that 
by our ratio, which is a 7.6. See here, and that's going to give us our wheel RPMs, which means that 3600 divided by 7.6, 473.7. That's, let me redo this, dang it. Okay, we're going to take 3,600 RPMs and we're going to divide that by our ratio, which is 7.6. And that's going to give us 473.68, um, make it 7, and round it up. That's going to give us 473 rotations per minute. That's how fast the tire should be, how many times the tire will rotate in a minute. Okay? Now that we've got that, we're going to take the tire circumference in feet, which is the 3.96 right here, and we're going to multiply that by this. So, we're going to take 3 point nine six times four hundred and seventy three point seven take that that's going to give us our feet per minute how many feet we're traveling per minute so three point nine six times four seven running out of room on this calculator. 1,875.9. Okay. That's how many that's how many feet per minute that tire should be rotating. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take feet per minute and multiply that by 60. Okay, wow. So we're going to take 1,875.9 times, times 60. That's going to give us times 60. No, that's going to give us 112,500 and 54 miles an hour. No, okay. <laughs> That's going to give us our feet per hour. Now, you take the feet per hour, 112,554, divide that by 5,280, 5,280. That's going to give us 21.31. 21 miles an hour. Miles per hour. With the gear ratio, with a 15 inch tire, I have an axle, I've got a 15 inch tire, I've got a 54 tooth sprocket, that goes off to my jack shaft, to a 10 tooth, that's going to come back over to the 14, and then from the 14 it's going to go up to the clutch on the engine, my max torque clutch. So with this specific setup, if I were to buy this jack shaft off of eBay, and I have a 15 inch tire, like what I used on Allie's go-kart on the A-cart, and on quad reverse trike thingy, I should be able to go 
21 miles an hour. However, that's if I use those sprockets. On Allie's go-kart, the 14 2 sprocket right here, this is actually, I want to say it's a 28, I think, or 24, something like that. I said it in one of my previous videos. That right there changes this 21 miles an hour for her go-kart down to like 12. So the thing is, is that with the jack shaft, you only get one or the other. You either get speed or you get power. The larger this sprocket is, and the larger this sprocket is, the slower you go, but the more power you're going to have. This here is the calculation, and I'll read this back to you quick. <sighs> okay, you take pi, and you multiply it by the tire diameter, which is 15. I'm using a 15-inch tire. That will give me the, circu the circumference of the tire in inches. I take the circumference of the tire in inches, 47.1, divide that by 12, 12 inches, and that will give me 3 feet, 3.96 feet. Pretty close to almost 4 feet. I take the engine RPMs, divide that by my ratio of both of my sprockets and everything put together, my total ratio, which is 7.6, and that comes out to be 473.7 the wheel RPMs which you know which means that my tire will rotate not on the ground my tire will rotate well it will but my tire will rotate 473.7 times in a minute so when I've got her opened up all the way and I'm going down the street and I clock it and I were to look back and count how many times my damn tire rotates it's going to rotate 473.7 times a minute. Of course, I can't count that fast in a minute. Then what you do is you take the tire circumference, 3.96 tire circumference, multiply that by how, many, how fast the tire is rotating per minute, and you come up with the how many feet you're covering per minute. Okay? That's how many feet you're covering per minute. Then, uh, you take the feet per minute, this number here, and you multiply that by 60, and that'll give you feet per hour. Then you take the feet per hour, and you divide that by 500, 5,280, because there's 5,280 feet in a mile. And then that will give you what your mile per hour is. 21 miles, 21 miles an hour. And this is the this information right here is on DIY go karts, and I've got it printed off right here. Obviously, that's what I was looking at. If you out there who are trying to figure out how where you can find the calculation for this, um, do it using a jack shaft. Um, this is the exact same type of calculation you would do if you were doing a direct drive from your clutch on your engine going right to your sprocket on your on your go kart. Instead of being the six point or the seven point six by doing the two different gear ratios and, and multiplying instead of doing all this, all you'll do is you'll just get rid of all of that and then just go straight to it. So let's say if I were to have a ten tooth clutch right here and it's gonna head go off to a sixty tooth, well that's gonna be a six. You divide that 6.0 or otherwise known as 6 whatever and it's going to be a 6 to 1 ratio for every 6 times this one rotates up here this will rotate once so since you know that your ratio is going to be 6 then this 7.6 up here will be 6 uh, 6 now this will, all this calculation will change because of that, but it's the same type of thing. Now when it comes to having a torque converter on the other hand, a torque converter you're, you'd be coming up with two ratios. You'd be operating with two different ratios and I'll do a video on that later on too. Show you guys how to do the calculation on that. 
but it's pretty much the same. I mean, well, I shouldn't say pretty much. It is the same. It's the same dang ca same calculation. It's just that you'll have a high end and you'll have a low end. It involves a lot more math. You know, a lot more different calculations here. So, but it's the same. It's the same calculation, but different ratios. The outcomes will be different. Yeah. So that's how you do it. That's how you figure it out. That's how you figure out how fast. If I were to use, if I use this type, this jack shaft setup, and my 15-inch tires, I know that I will be going about 21 miles, 21.3 miles an hour. But remember, on a lot of these, I rounded up, so chances are I probably go about maybe 18, 19 miles an hour. Got to factor that in. Another thing that you got to factor in, and I'm not about to do it because I really don't know how to do it. Factoring in weight and how much the cart weighs and how much you weigh and combining them two and figuring out your takeoff and you know all sorts of stuff you know so um, yeah there's a lot of things that that apply to wanting to know how fast you'll be able to go when I did the calculation uh, the reverse trike or the quad was now quad the calculation told me that uh, using the torque converter I should be able to go 36 miles an hour. Well, my neighbor, I was down the street, my neighbor comes around the corner and he asked me, you know, should I clock you? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So I take off and I'm going, just screaming down the street. My eyes are starting to tear up and everything. He's right alongside me and I'm thinking, okay, I'm, I'm just ripping. And then he yells out, because I had maxed out my speed, I wasn't going any faster, then he yells out, 28. I was like, what? 28? I get back here and I'm like, I come walking over to him, I'm like, I was going 28 miles an hour? That's it? He goes, yeah. He goes, he goes you seemed like you were going fast enough. Didn't seem like you were speeding up, you know, going any faster. I was like, well, dang, that sucks. <laughs> so, I don't know if it was... Uh, Maybe I was still building speed or what. I don't know what the deal was. But according to the math, I should be able to go 36 miles an hour on that thing. But he clocked me at 28. So, yeah. I don't know if he looked at his speedometer wrong or what. Maybe I was going 38. I wish. But, okay, guys. Well, I'm going to get on out of here. And I thought I'd throw this video out. Uh, I know a lot of you guys... A lot of people out there like to know how how do you figure out how fast you're gonna go. This this is the way you do it. And if you have an 18 inch tire, then you're gonna want to gear this lower because if you have a larger tire, you're gonna cover more distance. However, you won't be able to take off real fast. Well, unless you change your sprocket ratio. So there's you know there's a lot of different factors that apply. So I could probably maybe make this uh, I don't know, get rid of the 14 tooth if I was going to use like my 18 inch tires or my 22 inch tires I would probably get rid of this 14 tooth and purchase uh, maybe get a 20 tooth maybe get a 20 tooth or maybe even a 24 tooth get something that's a little bit larger so that way I can supply more torque to the wheels however the wheels are going to be bigger so they're going to be able to travel and travel a longer distance per rotation so I'll be able to go faster per se <laughs> okay you know it all depends upon the person who what you want your go-kart to do some people like speed some people like power but we're all brothers of the throttle see ya